okay so so now we come to the characteristics of of the london forces okay so we come to the to the characteristics of dispersion or london forces <clears throat> okay first of all what is a london force now we can define it the force of attraction between two temporary dipoles is called dispersion or london forces understand it is temporary why did this distort due to some external factor why did the other got get distorted why did the other get distorted due to this so if somehow this impact goes away so so this will go away and, and with that this will also go away they get polarized yes <coughs> now what are the characteristics of the the london forces the first thing is that these are these are transient forces what do you mean by transient not permanent they are not permanent they are transient forces which are attractive in nature these are transient forces which are attractive in nature and how do they behave what is the force of their interaction it will vary as 1 by r to the power 6 okay so interaction energy is proportional to 1 upon r to the power 6 okay so this behaves as 1 by this interacts as 1 by r to the power 6 where r is the distance and and they are important you, you can you can understand this way that that an 1 by r cube field reacts with another 1 by r cube field okay that's why it is 1 by r cube whole square correct so 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 they are important why not add them no Be because uh, it will get multiplied no the field here will decide the 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 potential there and hence the potential energy and it it it, it can be derived you don't worry so maybe uh, <coughs> if you, if you go through that video then we can derive it also they are important at smaller distances they are important at smaller distances of the order of 500 picometers hope you understand what picometer is 500 into 10 to the power minus 12 and one of the most important thing is their magnitude depends on their magnitude depends on 
द पोलराइजेबिलिटी ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल द पोलराइजेबिलिटी ऑफ द मॉलिक्यूल्स अंडरस्टैंड पोलराइजेबिलिटी try to understand this concept what happens if there is a field depending on the different types of molecules you have the dipole that they induce within themselves also differs so you understand there is a molecule whose electronic arrangement is such that you apply a huge amount of electric field and it doesn't it, it budges just a small small distance okay so 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 it's polarizability the the tendency to get converted into a dipole is less what happens in a very very small molecule the electrons are so tightly being attracted by the nucleus that you will not be an external force is not able to distort it much so normally the smaller molecules are less polarizable and when i am talking about a larger molecule since the electron distances are large the influence of the nucleus on the outermost electrons is less so their tendency to get distorted becomes more so they are more polarizable okay how strong you get polarized will decide how strong this gets polarized okay why because your polarization depends on mu your own dipole moment okay the field here the field here depends on the dipole moment and dipole moment depends on how strongly how strongly have you been able to separate the two charges understand do we get that so if you are able to pull it a lot more then your your dipole moment becomes more and it is the dipole moment which affects the the field here which, which which creates a field here and it is that field which distorts this do we get that point so it's all pure physics mathematics nothing else and a hell lot of common sense fine we understand that good